Hi there. Today I'm going to give you some quick tips on parts of the bridle and how to fit your bridle correctly to your horse. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Laura and if it's your first time here, hi there. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Today we're going to go over some quick tips on parts of the bridle and how to fit your bridle properly. And I've got a couple pictures here to show you the difference between a crummy bridle that's not fitting properly on a horse and a great bridle that I think is looks pretty good on this pony. So let's get started. So the first picture here, you can see this bridle doesn't look very nice, does it? This little horse here, there's lots of straps that are not in the keepers or the runners, so they're just going to be irritating on that horse. It looks like this bridle is way too big for the horse. You can tell that because the buckle is way up up uh, near the brow band of the bridle and the nose band's too low and that bit just looks like it's way too big. It's the right type of bit. Everybody likes a D-ring, right? But it's just too big. It's just kind of hanging in the horse's mouth. So we're going to just go over some great tips on what you should be looking for when you're fitting that bridle. So contrast that previous bridle on the pony to this bridle on this pony. Can you not see the difference between the two of them? One bridle, it's got those straps that are not tucked in anywhere. And this one, it looks like the straps are put into the keepers and into the runners, so there's no flaps anywhere. Also, the type of bit that's in the horse's mouth, it fits the size of the horse and uh, the way the throat latch is attached and the way the cheek pieces are attached look like it's fitting correctly. Now, if you want to get more tips like these, or maybe just position review, check out these videos right here. Just look at these two bridles side by side. You can see that the, the one on the right hand side here with the D-ring, their straps are not put in the keepers or the runners. It just looks really messy. The one on the other side, however, with the full cheek snaffle in it, the keepers are run up and the runners are being used so there's no bits flapping around also it just looks really tidy and looking tidy is important when you get into that hunter ring i just identified this part as the reins i mean you can tell that it's the reins and uh, they are laced reins not to be confused with braided reins is when the reins are braided they're actually cut into pieces and braided together these are laced like you would be lacing a shoe now you can see side by side these two bridles and the throat latch i just want to bring your attention to the throat latch and the throat latch on the poorly fitted bridle really hangs down and doesn't show the horse's head off very nicely contrast that to the bridle that's on the left hand side where the throat latch is adjusted properly and fits snugly without drooping down onto the horse's chin. Big difference. Sagging means that the throat latch is too long and it's not adjusted properly. It's too big for your horse. If it's too tight, well then it's too tight and it's too small. Real quick, have you forgotten to do something with your bridle and it came off when you were in the show ring? I'd like to hear about it. The nose band is the piece that goes around the horse's nose and oftentimes I see that it's adjusted too low. And when it's adjusted too low, sometimes the horse's lips get caught between the bit and the nose band when you're using your reins. So it's really important to keep the nose band up as high as you possibly can and approximately one inch below the cheekbone of the horse. Now the brow band is the part of the bridle that goes just uh, between the eyes and the ears and that prevents the crown piece or the piece that goes over top of the horse's head from sliding back down the horse's neck. And the big thing about this is that I've seen, uh, particularly now with the big horses, with the warm bloods and sometimes the quarter horses, that the brow bands are too short. And so what happens is that the piece that comes across the horse's brow is too short and the ears get pinched. So make sure that the brow band is fitting properly and that there's enough room for your horse's ears so they don't get pinched in there. Who wants, who likes to be pinched on the ears? Uh, the cheek pieces, they, they often come in different lengths, uh, pony lengths, horse lengths, they're special ones for different types of bits and all that type of thing as well. But big thing is, is to try to get the buckle of the cheek pieces 
to land just behind the horse's eye, maybe slightly above the horse's eye, certainly not below. And sometimes if the cheek pieces are too long or your horse's head is quite short, the, the buckles are way too high and it doesn't look very nice. So the rule of thumb is to try to get those buckles to buckle on the cheek pieces just behind the horse's eye. So there you have it. There's some great tips for you to try out when you're putting a bridle on your horse. Make sure that the nose band is adjusted properly so that the nose band is just about an inch below the horse's cheekbone so the lips don't get pinched. Try to adjust the cheek pieces so the buckle is just behind the horse's eye. Check the length of the brow band so the ears don't get pinched. And also that sagging throat latch Make sure it's adjusted properly and fits your horse properly so that you don't get the sagging throat latch. And of course, get those buckles just behind the horse's eye. There's some tips for you to fit your next bridle when you're getting out to tack up your horse. My name is Laura. Remember to subscribe to this channel to get more tips. And if you have any questions, please send me an email. Thanks now. Bye.